Hello and welcome. I am Annette Reeder from TheBiblicalNutritionist.com and today it's all about herbs. What herbs should you be growing in either in your kitchen, on the patio, or in your garden and which are the best ones to get started with and why. And all of these herbs have such medicinal value that I can't even give you the entire encyclopedia of all the value. But we're going to have fun talking about how you can add these into your diet today. So let's go inside and check out these herbs, but before we do, please hit the like, subscribe, the bell, all of those things because that helps us be connected. And today I'm going to tell you about a special way to serve these herbs and you're going to want to stay connected with us so you can watch the video that follows. And also, don't forget, this video is being sponsored by BiblicalNutritionAcademy.com, where we post all of our courses so you can learn on your own, at your own pace, God's recipe for excellent health. Thanks for watching. Nothing whets the appetite like a dish made with plenty of fresh herbs. And these herbs that we're going to talk about, these are the top seven that you could have in your garden today. And oh, people are going to say, wow, there's something different about your cooking. And you're going to say it's the fresh herbs. Sometimes we use those dried seasonings that we get from the store, the spices, and they're old. Let's, let's go with fresh. So let's start at the very beginning. Here is our basil. I want to grow a lot of basil, and I mean a lot. In the fall, when the spikes of flowers start to come up from the top, and even during the summer, you want to keep pinching them off to keep your basil growing nice and strong. We don't want the flowers, even though they're gorgeous. And in the fall, we do want it to flower, and then we save those seeds and we can grow our own basil next year. It works every year in my garden, so I love it. You want to grow lots of basil so you can make some pesto. You want to use it in all your Italian dishes. You want to use it also on top of fresh um, bruschetta that you're making yourself with your own bread. Mm, delicious. You're going to be so hungry at the end of this video. Next is parsley. Now that's just a common one. We've seen it like this uh, most of my life. It was used as a decoration on the plate and my dad used to eat it just to, for the fun and see how we would react and <laughs> we thought he was going to kill himself. No, this is so healthful for you. So parsley is just a food that we need to have almost every day. You can make a tea with it and I've given you a recipe and a video about that. So go look up that parsley tea. Such a good cleanse for the palate. It, it's just a perfect go-to in every single recipe. Plus this freezes well. Now the basil is an annual so you have to replant every year. The parsley you could actually bring it in in the winter and put it back out the second year and it will grow two seasons. So this is a really good you know, herb that we need to have in our garden all the time. Next is, here we have our thyme. And this is a perennial. So I planted it once, I still have it growing every single year. I just go out in the yard, cut it fresh, use it in all my dishes. This, you can even buy a lemon thyme, and I don't know that this one here is a lemon thyme. I don't see that it is, but the lemon thyme just has a, more of a burst of flavor for your lemon. It's really good on fish and chicken. Now thyme is a little bit more of a pungent flavor, so you want to let that, you want to add that in the middle of your cooking, whereas parsley, you want to add at the last minute in your cooking. So if you're going to cook with this, this is a last minute. This is not really one that we would cook very long either, so you want to add that at the last minute as well. All right, moving on, we come to balm. So balm is one that I talked about in other videos when I shared with you what was growing in my yard and the health benefits of balm. This, you could just take these leaves here and drop it in your hot water and in your tea in the morning and you would have a fresh lemon tea and your body would say, oh, now we're doing something good. Now this also is a perennial, so buy it once and then you get to enjoy it forever. So not only in your morning tea, you could also use this in soups and salads and it's just a delicious food. All right, so between the two, we have tarragon. I wonder how many of you have actually grown tarragon? 
in your garden or even used it fresh in your cooking. Well, I wanna challenge you this year because this tarragon, I think you're gonna really like it. It's for your French recipes. It's also perennial, so buy it once and it's gonna just keep growing in your yard. Also, because of the delicate leaves and the light flavor, you wanna add it at the last minute of your cooking. Now you could actually make a delicious dressing with this. You could use these fresh leaves, add some green onion, add a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, a half a cup of olive oil, salt and pepper, plus three tablespoons of lemon juice. And just go out there in your yard, cut your leaves, put it in your dressing mix, and your, your guests and your family are gonna say, okay, this dressing tastes so fresh. And you're gonna say, yes, it's the fresh herbs that I'm adding. All right, so what we've skipped over here is oregano. Again, it's another perennial. Buy it once and you have it for your entire life. Plant it in a fun place that you wanna go out to every all seasons of the year, clip your leaves, bring it in, and use it in all your Italian dishes. You will never buy oregano again from the grocery store once you are growing all of these herbs, especially the perennials. You're never gonna to have to buy them again because you always have them in your garden. Now, so all of these can be made into a vinegar and that would make just such a gorgeous gift at Christmas time. You can make your own herbed vinegars. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel and I'll tell you how to do that. We'll have some more videos coming up on making your own herbs. Now, all of these could be added to either a sour cream or a yogurt base with a little bit of salt and pepper and you have your own dip. Dip for crackers, for vegetables, uh, just whatever you want to use it for and it would just be a light refreshment on the dinner table. So I hope I've encouraged you to grow more herbs in your garden. Well, I hope you make it either to Tom Leonard's like I am here and pick up all of these herbs that you can start growing yourself. I really want to encourage you to, whether you just have a, an apartment, then put it in a pot, even inside your house, grow at least one to two herbs this year. If you have a small patio, you can put pots out on it and grow your herbs. And if you have a full yard like I do, then I really want to see pictures of your garden with all your different herbs. And especially the perennials. You could even do a garden club where you share your plants with everyone and then everyone gets a little bit of those herbs to put in their own yard. Well, this is always fun to share with you guys. Recipe for excellent health and it definitely includes herbs. So thanks for watching. I am Annette Reeder from TheBiblicalNutritionist.com. I look forward to reading your comments about herbs today. My husband's doctor was writing prescriptions faster than our hearts were beating with stress. Yet could there be another way? Is there another answer? Well that is when a friend suggested to me, Annette, go back into God's Word, start reading it differently, and start with the Daniel fast. Well those words changed the trajectory of our lives. And 30 days later, we were prescription free, 35 pounds lighter, combined total, lower cholesterol, lower triglycerides, and we knew that God had answered our prayer for greater health His way. Now, if you are praying for an answer on how to get started, I highly recommend the Daniel Fast. First, go to the biblicalnutritionacademy.com website, click on the Daniel Fast, and sign up. It's that easy. Plus, the link will be in the show notes below.